I've noticed that some people are a bit confused about the role that proofs play when writing code in Idris. So here's a little bit of de demonstration of how you can use proofs, specifically proofs of equality, in your code. The first thing we're going to do is define a version of the append function, which is the same as the one in the library for vectors. If we say my append takes two vectors as arguments, it takes a n length vect and an m length vect, and returns a, a vect which has length plus nm and contains the same type a's. This is the kind of type that's very nice to work with in something like Idris because the compiler can do most of the work for us. So I tell it to start the definition, and I see that it started my Idris interpreter. Then I tell it to case split on x's with control C, control C. And now, if I take a look at the meta variables window by loading the buffer, I can see that Idris already knows what should be here. I'm trying to define right hand side one, and the type of right hand side one is vect ma, and there's already one there. So I should feel confident that Idris is able to produce it for me. And control C, control A for auto causes that to happen. If I load the buffer again, I see that now it's trying to make a vect of plus sm a, and, sorry, a vect of suck of plus nma length. And this is also something that it knows how to do because it knows how to make one that adds the lengths of n and m, and it knows how to stick an element on the front, which is with cons. So once again, auto is able to solve the the right-hand side of the code for us. But things aren't always that easy when working with dependent types. Let's see what happens if we change the order of m and n. I try to load the buffer now, I actually get a type error. It says that it's unable to tell that the right-hand side is a plus, is a vect ma, because it can see a vect plus m0a because it knows that the length of n, that is the length of the first argument, it knows that that's zero, and it, it knows that sticking n after m will, it, it does not know that sticking, that sticking zero after m will lead to m, the way that it did know when we stuck zero before. This is because plus is defined recursively on its first argument, but it doesn't use its second argument for anything. So what we need to do is we need to find a way to convince Idris to flip these things around. There's a number of things you could use for this in the library. In this case, let's take a look at the about at using the commutative property of addition. So how do we find out what it's called in the first case? Because we're gonna need to know the name of the proof in order to use it. Some people think that once they've proved something, the unifier will be able to find it, but that's not the case. Unification is not affected by what you've proven. It's a primitive low-level operation. Well, let's see what this type search finds. We say control C, control D, T for searching for a type. And then I'll say that plus N M equals, oh, that's wrong, equals plus M N. And we find that there's a couple of possibilities that, it, that were similar enough for it to use them. But the one that we care about is the one we found that has exactly the right type, which is called plus commutative. Now we can use the rewrite feature in Idris to employ that proof to rewrite the type that we're looking for. So I can say rewrite, and then we see that plus commutative takes two explicit arguments. It takes left, called left and right. In this case, what we care about were m and zero. And of course, I need to write the name of the proof. I tell it to load, and well, now it can't find M. This is because the lowercase letters that we have up in our type signature for Idris are in fact implicit parameters. They're sort of invisible parameters to the function. So we need to actually give them names in order to use them in the body of the function. So let's start the whole thing over. I tell it to start my definition, and now I can come and give it explicit names to N and M which I'm just going to call n and m, so as to not be confusing. And now when I load the buffer, I see that this has worked, but when I case split on x's, it fills out what n was, right? This is because there's a dependency between the length of the first vector and the first argument, n. So we know that n was zero because the vector's length was zero. 
that is, it was nil. So let's see if rewrite works again. If we say rewrite uh, plus commutative m0 in y's. We load the buffer, and it worked. Let's define Let's define the other case now. So the first thing we're going to need to do is write in the code that we actually want. So we're going to want to say x colon or x cons my append x's y's, just as before. And what's our type error? Well, the unifier can't unify vect of suck of plus mk with vect of plus of m of suck of k. This is because it has no reason to make that inference. So what we need to do is give it a rule to, that will move our suck to the outside. Once again, type search to the rescue. We can search for suck of plus nm is equal to plus n of suck of m. We find out that this proof is called plus suck right suck. So we say rewrite plus suck right suck. And the variables in this case, we see that Idris has decided to call the one inside of n k. I'll leave that alone so as to not get confused as to which one is n and which one is k. And call it m k in. And now I try to load the buffer, and we see that it didn't actually change the type. This is because we need to change the, the direction of the equality. The one that we want goes from right to left, this one goes from left to right. So what happens when we try to search for a proof that would let us change that proof? We can say that if a equals b, then b must equal a, but it actually gives us an error, no such variable b. This isn't the most helpful error message in the world, but it's because of the way equality works in Idris. It needs to know the types of both sides, and it couldn't figure them out. So let's fall back on keyword search of the documentation, that is, with apropos. In this case, control C, control D, A, and we search for symmetry. We can see that we have this function called sim, which does exactly what we want. So sim applied to this equality will give it the correct ordering. And then I'm going to reformat this code so it doesn't have an ugly line break in the middle. And what happens when we load the buffer now? Everything works. OK. So now you've seen one way to use a proof in Idris. The second way is using provisional definitions, and that will come in a future screencast.